This could be a glimpse of the future for people who can't use their legs. Michael Gore became paralyzed in a workplace accident more than a decade ago. I am a uh, T10 complete, which is around the belly button area, so it's easier to say from the waist down. No motor function or sensory. Gore traveled from his home in North Carolina to Chicago this week for a demonstration and a meeting of the American Spinal Injury Association. Gore showed off the Indigo, the latest in electronic legs, otherwise known as a wearable robot. So not only is it small and lightweight, but it also snaps together and snaps apart for easy transportation, and it also makes the donning and doffing process much easier. Several companies are making similar devices. Earlier models were bigger and bulkier, but this 27-pound Indigo can fit into a backpack that can hang from a wheelchair. When I lean forward, there is a vibration in the system, in the device, and you can feel it. And once that vibration, I feel that vibration, I know the device is ready to take a step. For Gore, the benefits are far more than physical. Being able to speak with you eye to eye is just a big emotional boost. It, it's hard to explain, really. Uh, you never really notice anything until it's gone. Wearable robots have physical limitations and could cost up to $75,000. This latest version is still a year away, and experts say it could be years before Medicare or insurance companies are willing to pay for them. But for Gore, each step has been priceless. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.